Welcome, this is EBN TV, Daughters of the Kingdom. We equip and raise uh, virtuous women, noble women, who transform their lives, their families, their communities, their nations, and everything they do prospers because God is involved. Again, my name is Pastor Josephine. It is, it is always a pleasure, a privilege. I'm always humbled to share in this program. And I'm so blessed to get the feedback, how God is working, how people are being transformed, how people are being lifted and being built. Oh my goodness, I feel so blessed. So again, today with me, I'm with uh, my friend. She's going to introduce herself and bring greetings to the audience. Amen. Greetings all in the name of Jesus. My name is Pastor Jane Mwanthi. I'm delighted to be in this place today uh, to do this program that is imparting so many welcome thank you so much let us pray as we begin our dear heavenly father in the name of jesus we love you we bless you and we worship you and thank you for giving us a time and opportunity to be in your presence we thank you because god you have done so many things we cannot tell it all the name of the lord be glorified and god as we sit at your feet the same way you did to Mary in her time, the time of Lazarus, you resurrected the brother. I pray that today everything that is dead in our lives, because of the power of your word, everything will be resurrected in the name of Jesus. I pray relationships that are dead and withered, they are going to be resurrected. Oh, where there is weakness, you're going to strengthen us. Where there is pain, God, you're going to heal us. Where there is... Uh, sickness you're going to heal your people in the name of jesus christ we welcome your spirit even in this program take over and speak to us in the name of jesus our lord and savior do we pray and we believe amen, amen. welcome again we've been taking a series on a virtuous woman the strength of a woman the the blessed woman the noble woman the virtuous woman a woman who transforms our life our family our community and our environment and it's been amazing it's been amazing work just to learn the purposes of god in every woman last week we're just talking about about this the the, the, the self-worth of a woman and we realize that the self-worth of a woman does not depend on the circumstances around her, we realize that the self-worth of a woman depends on what God says about her. And in the book of Genesis, uh, we have, that's where we began from, we realize that God created everything by his word. And everything that God created was good. And it was beautified because Amen. of the power mm -hmm. of the word of God. So whatever is created, whatever is built, designed by the word of God, it is good. So everything that a woman does with the foundation of the word of God, it is good. So today we are going to move forward. And our today's topic is very nice. I believe it's going to be a blessing to you. She willingly invests extra time in the things that really matter maybe i can say that again she really or she willingly invests extra time in the things that really matter we're going back to our scripture in the book of proverbs chapter number 31 that has been our scripture as we've been going through the series of a fatuous woman and we've gone to depths and we are really blessed just to know what God has for us. In chapter number 31 and verse 18, this is what the Bible says. She uh, she perceives that her merchandise is good and her lamp does not go out by the night. So we are looking into the second part of the scripture that our lamp does not go out by night so this is a woman who is focused and a candle a candle is lighting all the time in the day in the night she's working and she gives attention to things that need extra attention she needs I mean, she gives extra time she goes extra mile she she does extra work to sustain everything that she believes it's a priority so in this program we welcome you and i believe it is going to be a, a beautiful thing pastor jen maybe can we talk about this candle 
what can make a candle of a woman to keep burning before it go to the priorities of a godly woman what makes that candle to keep you know shining and burning thank you so much pastor josephine uh the lord is just speaking to my heart right now yes. and uh, uh when uh, the bible says that a candle never goes out by night mm -hmm. there are things that we can call a night yes but i want to answer a question that what makes this candle not to go out mm -hmm. uh this candle cannot go it's like some strength yes. that brings in light to mm. situations yeah. and what can make a candle not to go out it it, it, it all depends on the source of the oil of this candle mm -hmm. yes so what makes this candle not to go out it is the relationship this woman has got with the lord it depends where she gets her strength from. Mm, yeah. It depends what fuels her. It mm. depends what pushes her to do what she's doing. Yes. Because uh, the Bible is saying that uh, she really puts effort on the things, the m things that matter. And her candle never goes hope. Mm. So there are times that situations may, may bring out some night. Mm -hmm. Challenges. Yes. Discouragements. Mm -hmm. But this woman, the Bible says that, a candle never goes out, no matter the situation. Yes. And you know, mm -hmm. when we get back to the word of God, yeah. the word of God is everlasting. That's true. The word of God is our light. Mm. So when we speak about a candle that is not going out, we speak about the word of God. That the deposit of the word of God in the life of this woman, it depends the deposit. Yeah. Whether the word of God is lily has been deposited fully mm -hmm. our, our work with the lord yes. our relationship with god mm -hmm. it will make the candle to lit yes. throughout mm -hmm. because in his storms if we have god who is our light yes. he's still with us there that is true uh if we embrace the word of god the bible says that the word in psalm 119 our uh, first one of i that your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Mm -hmm. Meaning that the word of God keeps on giving light. Mm -hmm. So when we speak about the candle of this woman not going up, it is the word of God in her. Yeah, that is that true. That drives away every darkness, even at night, it yes. is still shining. Yeah, thank you so much, Pastor Jen, even for bringing that introduction, that there are many things that symbolize night in our lives maybe in times of difficulties wild and what in the in, in the wilderness yes. wilderness is a time of lack mm. the time when you feel you are deserted mm. the time when you feel mm. that there is limitation limitation of resources yes. limitation of money limitation mm. of everything there there are times when as a human being things you know come and uh, you're down you're at the bottom that is the time we call night when the enemy strikes mm -hmm. sickness strikes mm -hmm. maybe death mm -hmm. grief comes Loneliness. into your family or mm. into your friends mm -hmm. i mean those are the night moments and we are talking to somebody maybe who is going through a night moment today or this is a season of night the bible says tears may endure in the night but joy comes in the morning so God is a God who brings joy. He is a God who gives strength to every person. And every woman, maybe you're going through a night, maybe your children are not feeling well, or you have prodigal sons or children. Things are happening not the way you expected as you entered into a relationship, maybe into a marriage or into a particular job or wherever you are. Things have not just worked out the way you expected at the beginning that could be your night but remember the candle of a strong woman mm -hmm. never goes off mm -hmm. so in this program we are going to learn how to keep that candle burning and it is a blessing i, I want to 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 to, to say that uh, it takes time it takes time to put oil in that candle you know the little the oil the quicker it goes off. But if you have enough oil, that candle will keep burning in the day and in the, you know, in the night, you don't go to the shop. <laughs> in the night, you don't go, you know, looking for oil there. We read about the, the, the virgins, the 10 virgins, yes. yeah, and the five of them were foolish. 
and they didn't have enough oil in the lamp so when their master came they went looking for him you know but five ladies we are ready we are going to learn how to keep our candles burning master jane can, can, can we talk about things that really put off the the candle in our lives maybe in the season and the era that we are living today oh uh, there are so many things that put off our candles uh there are discouragements a time like now we are in a very tough economic mm -hmm. uh, crisis hard times mm -hmm. and uh, people are a little looking at uh, where to go mm -hmm. this there's, there's there's come something like a darkness in many people's lives mm -hmm. um when uh, when 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 economic is not working it's not favoring us yeah. others are disobedient children Mm -hmm. that bring put up our candles uh lack loneliness you know you joblessness you find like uh an uh unworkable marriages you find that your marriage is not working you have not gotten like uh, the, the expected marriage that you are expecting before you got into such a marriage and when you sum up all these things you find like you are living in a dark world and you are discouraged, you feel like it's like, I don't belong here, I'm an unworthy, you know, things are not working for me. You are there, you cannot tell where you are because mm -hmm. there is total darkness in everything that you look at in your life that surrounds you. Yes. It looks like a darkness in your life. Mm -hmm. Whereby even businesses are not working. Yes. It is, you find it is also hard to make both ends meet. Mm -hmm. And then it, those are some of the darknesses that we find that make us like the candle has gone off. Mm -hmm. But we are looking at oh now can we keep our candle lit throughout. Amen. Thank you so much. So we can keep our candles lit. A woman you can keep your candle shining, burning, and we have seen that the beginning point it is having a connection yes. with God. Yes. Because God is the provider of the fuel in the book of john chapter number 15 the bible says without me you can do nothing, nothing. so when you are connected with the fuel giver you can do all things because he is able so it takes time to keep that candle you no know, burning it takes time to learn it takes time to really you know do things which are profitable things that will make you shine it takes time nothing comes easily yes nothing comes easily in in this life nothing comes easily and things of value when you talk about you know the candle burning it is making life to work nothing comes easily and as we have said to have things that are of value to have valuable relationships it doesn't come with overnight mm -hmm. Even our relationship with God does not come overnight. You need to really labor. You need to work on it. We are going to be seeing a few ways how we can strengthen our relationships with our God, with our husbands, with our children, with our work and ministry. And uh, yeah, somebody said that cheap is expensive. <laughs> and that is very true. Yeah, so let us look at the first important valuable thing in a woman's life which is a relationship with god pastor jane can you maybe uh, share with us how can a woman share i mean build a strong relationship with god amen uh, uh a woman's relationship with god is one thing that is something that matter in her life yes and uh, this woman we are talking about of the Proverbs that one is a woman who puts her effort on things that matter. And as my sister has expounded, one thing is a human relationship with God. Yes. It all begins there that will help us uh, have, have our candle lit throughout. Mm -hmm. Because our God never changes. Our God is the same. Mm -hmm. When we go back to the word, the word of God says this, that 
in the, uh, the word of God is light. Itself is light. So when we have a God in our lives, when our relationship with God is sure, we are sure of light in every darkness. So for us to strengthen our relationship with God, it has to begin with salvation. Mm -hmm. Because when God created us from the word go, yeah. God created us with his own image and likeness. Mm. And the, in God, there is no darkness. There is light throughout. Mm -hmm. So we have to maintain the image mm -hmm. and the likeness of God. Yes. By walking in his ways. By doing the commands of God. Mm -hmm. By doing what the word of God says to us. Yes. By having a good relationship, by walking in the ways of God, mm. seeking to know the mind of God. Yes. Getting out of the, 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 the patterns of the world and allowing our minds to be renewed, to renew, be, to be allowing ourselves to be transformed mm -hmm. by the renewal of our minds wow. that we may put on the mind of Christ. Mm. That one will help us to strengthen our relationship with God yes. through prayer, mm. through, through leading the word of God. Oh, thank you so much, Pastor Jane. And uh, I want us to look at the attributes of the word of God in the book of Psalms 119. It has some very, 119 Psalms is the longest chapter in the yes. whole Bible. Mm. It has very, very uh, powerful uh, things that it teaches about the commandments of God or the words, the word of God. And uh, maybe... Uh, for everyone, the Bible says in verse number nine, how can a young man cleanse his ways? By taking heed according to your word. How can a woman, you know, when the Bible talks about a young man or a, a young, the, the word of God is standard. It's a standard for every one of yes. us. So in verse nine, it's how can a young, let's put it, how can a young woman or old woman, whatever age you are or stage you are in life, cleanse his ways is by taking heed to the word of God. We want to see some few attributes in the word of God. And um, we can see in verse number 20, 24, the Bible says, your testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. Mm -hmm. So for a woman to have a good relationship with God, she needs to heed. She needs to take heed of the word of God because the word of God is a counselor. Amen. There are men, women out there who have many counselors and some counselors are not adding value in their lives. Some counselors are their aunties, their friends who really don't believe in the word of god so the best counselor is the word of god do you have another attribute from that psalms 119 maybe you can share another attribute from psalms 119 and even as she gets it in verse 16 it says i will delight myself in your status i will not forget your word that is what the bible says yes yeah, so you can you the, can give us another attribute thank you there is another attribute of the word of god yes. that says that your commandments that is in psalm uh 119 verse 98 yes your commandments makes me wiser than my enemies hallelujah to so that. the word of god mm -hmm. makes us wiser mm -hmm. than our enemies that is true so when we take in the word of god yes we become wise we yeah. get wisdom mm -hmm. and in psalm 119 105 yes. it says that your word is a lamp mm -hmm. to my feet Amen. and a light to my father thank so you so we don't stumble Amen. because we have the word of god yes another attribute is in verse number 50 this is my comfort in my affliction for your word has given me life so the word of god is not only a counselor it also gives us comfort and strength, and that is powerful. So for a woman to have a good life, for a woman to have good relationship with God, she needs to be connected with the word of God. Amen. And maybe we have another attribute. Maybe you can give us one more attribute before we go to something else. Oh, the another attribute is in one nineteen verse one thirty. Yes, it says this: the unfolding of your words gives light. Mm -hmm. It imparts understanding to the symbol. Amen. So the unfolding, when we get the word of God, mm. as it unfolds, 
it gives light yes. and it imparts wow. understanding. Yes, the entrance, the, my, my, yes, my version, yes, yes, New yes. King James, yes. verse 130 says, the entrance of your words mm -hmm. give light. It gives understanding to the simple. Amen. Do you want understanding and knowledge? Mm. You need to connect with the word of God. Let me finish this session by reading verse number 89, <coughs> which is another attribute of God's word. Forever, O oh God, your word is settled in heaven. So for a woman to build a relationship with God, yes, she needs to take time. We have said you need extra time. A candle mm. will not be off if she has the word of God. Mm. And may God bless you. We are going to continue with this very inspiring topic that she willingly invests extra, extra time, time in what really she values. And number one, is a relationship with God. We are talking about this virtuous woman and we continue with the topic. She willingly invests in the things that she really knows they matter. What matters in your life? We have just talked about a very important foundation that the best thing a woman can really invest in that really brings value in her life is a relationship with God. And uh, we have really looked at the attributes of the word of God in the book of Psalms, chapter number 119. And we've, we spent time to really look at a few verses that really helps a woman to have understanding, to have knowledge, to have wisdom, to have comfort and strength. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So we want to continue to the next thing that a woman you know, should really spend more time in. And we have said to have our candle lighting, we need to take extra energy, extra strength, extra effort to make these things work. So can we talk about our relationship with our husband? Maybe Pastor Jane, in a few minutes, you can just encourage us, or, you know, speak to us how the candle should be lighting in our family. Amen. Uh, as, as our discussion goes, that this woman puts extra time on things that matter. And as we have expounded about our relationship with God, it's something that matters so much in our life. Now we have a relationship with our husband and it really matters. God is the author of all marriages. And God, when he created man, he himself personally saw that it was not good mm -hmm. for a man to stay alone and he created a, a good helper who is a woman. Yes. And uh, when I look at the study of a marriage or a husband, uh, a husband to a wife, to a woman, it is a contract that God has given to us that... It's like a lifetime contract. Yes. And then contract that goes to a lifetime, mm -hmm. we must work on it. Uh, when God gave us a husband, he gave us just a man. God created a man and he created a woman. Mm -hmm. And when he gave us a man, it is our duty to work out on this man to get that kind of husband that fears God that we want. So we put more extra to pray for this man. We mm. put more extra time to, to forget about our needs and work out on the needs of our husbands mm -hmm. that they may become that, that, that thing that we need. That, 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 you know, although sometimes we find ourselves that maybe the man you are staying with at your home is not, you are, is not fulfilling, but it is our responsibility to work on this man and bring out that husband that God has ordained. One thing, women, we need to know how to submit. If we have God in us, in us, 
God teaches us about submission. We have read about the attributes of God's word in our lives. It teaches us to submit to our husbands. Okay, thank you very much, Pastor Jen. I want to read a scripture in the book of uh, Genesis, chapter number 3, and verse number 20. And uh, Adam called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. That is the beginning. God created Adam. And uh, we have had a lot of uh, topics which are very inspiring in our previous uh, programs. Maybe if you have missed that, you can go back to EBN, Facebook, and and, and I mean other forums like YouTube and you'll find it. It is very enriching to understand the roles, the roles of men, the roles of a woman and why God created a man and a woman. We have all that. But in this topic, we are talking about building that relationship. And I thank God that Pastor Jane has begun by explaining that God created a woman to be a helper to this man that God has given in a, in the family. But Pastor Jen, we are living in a time, actually it was just the other, last month, the statistics were showing that in Kenya, we have a very big percentage of single mothers. Ca can we talk about that? As a, so many women, now the, actually the president is the one who gave, uh, uh, he was giving a speech, one of the meetings, and he was addressing the issue of single mothers. Is it because women are not submissive? What do you think has brought in the issue of single mothers in the country? Maybe Pastor Jen. Uh, I, 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 I think uh, what uh, has brought about the issue of single mothers in our nation, uh, you find majority had been married. Mm -hmm. And they ran away from their marriage mm -hmm. and uh, they left the men that God has put in their lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think to some extent, uh, they have lacked the information of becoming this woman or Proverbs that one. Because one thing that matters in a woman, if so you are married, there is to work out because the Bible says this: this uh, the candle of this woman never goes mm. hot. That is true. Yes. Sometimes in marriages you find mm. that there are dark moments in a marriage. Yes. And because some of the women now whom we are addressing today, they have not known how to keep their lamps burning. Mm -hmm. They find themselves that they are in a in a in, in a in a dark moment in their marriages. And they find that the only solution is to learn away from their marriages. Mm -hmm. And that has caused that you find we are in a society whereby we have so many single mothers who, has, who have said that mm -hmm. I can do better yeah. without you. Mm -hmm. And maybe much succeed or less succeed. Mm -hmm. So they run away because of the absence mm -hmm. of having their lamps lit. Mm -hmm. And the bottom line is they have lost somewhere in a way, yeah. on the way, the relationship between them with God. Because if your relationship with God is right, mm -hmm. it is in the right position, and you have worked on it, it will arrange your relationship with your husband. It will help you mm -hmm. on how to work out on that marriage, and you will, find you, you will not find yourself being a single mother. Well, uh, it is true, it is true, uh, as we say, uh, even as you say, I'm having that relationship. But we find there's a lot of uh, abuse, a lot of uh, discontentment, expectations are not met. And when you listen to the stories, it really varies from each one of the persons who is in this struggle. But here we are talking about our candle does not go off. We, we want to really uh, help somebody whose candle is either shut down or it's demeaning. demeaning. The, the light is going down. It can rise up again. It can burn again. It is not the will of God for us to go through the struggles, for, for the women to, you know, to, 
to raise their children without their fathers there is a way out and we are talking about the candles that are you not know, burning down that are diminishing that are shutting down there is hope today there is hope so we want to see how do we light up this candle in the families relationships with husband which is coming down pastor jean how can the candle be light as we have read in the scripture that a candle does not do what go off we, we we need to light the candle again what can we do where do we begin to light the candle and how do we sustain the light in the families amen i want to take a scripture in the book of psalm 11 19 11 the bible says this is david who was saying that i put your word in my heart yes that i may not wrong you mm -hmm. i will still go back to the drawing board yeah. i always began by saying this in mm -hmm. the beginning god created the earth and yeah. the heavens mm -hmm. and after the creation god saw that it was it was good yeah and he came again and he created he said let us create man with our own image yeah. and a likeness mm. and i have said that in the in god there is no darkness mm. so uh for us to keep our our candles burning in our families yes we need to go back to the drawing board mm -hmm. when man left dominion because god mm -hmm. gave him dominion yes god in one way i tend to think god went back Mm -hmm. to his strategic planning yeah. the plan of god for man was to continue with creation mm -hmm. to be fruitful multiply replenish mm -hmm. and subdue the earth yeah. mm -hmm. so that is when now jesus christ came in again to 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 to, to, to restore dominion to our lives so when we find that like a candle marriage candles have gone off we need to go to go back to the drone back yeah. board we need to go back and the source we need to go back to the true fire mm -hmm. and remain in the source yes and know that it is not about us mm. it is about God who strengthens us yeah that is true thank you pastor jen i really agree with that we need to go back to the drawing board and uh, i think the one important thing to have our candle lighting it is to have the right foundation yes. like in marriage I, i of course as ministers pastors elder women we meet so many so many situations whereby things are really happening and they're not working but when you look back you find the foundation was not well done we want to encourage everyone whose candle is either shutting down or it's off completely or uh, the candle has not even started you know, shutting down i think we need to work on the foundations the foundation jesus said uh look at the wise man he in the book of matthew chapter 7 and verse number 12, 24 he, he builds his house on a rock so before you get into that a uh, relationship maybe be before you really get into that marriage it's important to do the foundational work the preparation for marriage is very important and, and and this lady in the book of proverbs 31 says that a candle does not go off so you find this lady is working before you get into that relationship work day and night we parallel work on that foundation until it is it is a strong foundation know who is this person you know you're getting involved in uh get the right counseling involve other people you know nowadays we just have the easy kind of a marriage whereby just people get married even without their consent of the parents and friends and all the others it is very important to have the really right foundation so that the candle can be put on a firm foundation i think that is where to begin with pastor jen and um as you continue in maybe if you're in the family relationship you you need to really work on that candle you know the candle needs oil so what are some of the things a woman can do to keep the fire burning in the family maybe a few things that we can we can we can share to keep the fire burning in a family relationship uh one thing a woman should do to keep uh the fire burning in a family it is to pray for the family yes to take care of the needs of the family mm -hmm. uh like 
the the woman in Proverbs that yes. one the Bible mm. says that she wakes up while it's yet dark. Yes, and uh, the woman should get to know our place, our position in the family, mm. and uh, she needs to know what she's supposed to do, mm -hmm. and she needs to put everything in order she needs to pray for the family yes she needs to meet the needs of the husband mm -hmm. you know some of the things that uh, make our families not to work mm -hmm. it is because we don't uh, put some extra time yes. to work out on that family mm -hmm. but we need to take an extra time like a time of prayer like a time of sitting together in a family halter you share the word of God, where of will we take it from? Mm -hmm. And we revere God in our families. Yes. And uh, we instruct, we, you know, we get to get understanding. As you have said, mm -hmm. the foundation part is, of it is very important. Yes. We need to build on that foundation, what God says, you know, about it. We yes. pray together, wow. we read the word of mm -hmm. together, we share, yes. you know, and, uh, you know, with that. Yeah we will build our family. Wow, thank you very much, uh, Pastor Jean, again. So let, let me just reread the scripture in uh, Proverbs uh, 31 and verse 10. Who can find a virtuous wife? For her worth is far above rubies. Um, her heart, the heart of her husband safe, safely trusts her, so he will have no lack of gain. Uh, yeah, so from what we are reading that in verse number 10 and 11 and we connect it with number 18 mm. we realize that there is work to be done godly marriages they don't drop from heaven there is sacrifice there is commitment there is love there is submission mm. and this woman works in the night when everybody else is sleeping she's working maybe you're working in that time is a prayer <clears throat> maybe you're working is doing things to make to 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 make ends meet i hear of women who really wake up very early they like couldn't we were growing up we were young our mothers could wake up early and milk sweep the compound but now a lot of women they are lazy they are not able to to do anything to develop their homes and they're just waiting for their husbands to do everything we are talking to a woman there and just reminding you to have a good marriage it is work, it is sacrifice, mm -hmm. it is extra commitment into this. So as we come to the end of this program, we're going to say a few more things. Maybe how can a woman keep the fire burning in the lives of our children? Maybe a few things that a woman can do to keep that candle burning in the lives of our children. Pastor Jane, maybe. Uh, uh, a woman can keep a, a lamp burning in the lives of our children through showing love to them. Yes. We, we, we hardly alone discussed about uh, the, the gifts of a woman, a mother mm -hmm. yes. to her children. One is showing unconditional love. Another one is teaching them, teaching them how to pray. And uh, she, a woman can keep a fire burning or a alarm burning by loving our children unconditionally yes. and I take ourselves back to Deuteronomy 6 where it says that this command the word of God yes. the fire can only the, the lamp can only be burning mm. if the woman teaches the children the word of God when they sit in the house when they walk when they lie down yes. and in uh, more so providing their needs Thank you. And you remember the need of a child. It is the bread of life. Mm -hmm. You know, many times mothers we want to give our children toys, good birthday parties. But remember how to love your child most and to keep the fire burning in your life and in your children's life. It is lighting the light of the Lord Jesus, giving them the, the bread, bread, of, the bread of, life. of life. There the are many other priorities. Two other priorities maybe we share the next time. The priority of work what is your choice of work what do, what you do does it bring glory to god does it bring you know healthy relationship in your husband with your husband and your children and also ministry 
you, are you that kind of a woman who just you know uh, goes to church and just believes of course she's she's a believer but even her belief she's not modeling her belief in the family i think we are going to discuss that in the next session please don't miss it's going to be a blessing but remember she is willingly investing in things that really matter what really matters there are things that really don't add value in our lives what adds value take time for that and god is going to bless you may god keep you and strengthen you pastor jane is going to give us a short prayer as we close in jesus name amen everlasting father in the name of jesus we thank you and we give you praise Thank you, Lord, for your presence in this sharing, might God. Thank we you, Jesus. Here to mm. faith. Thank you, Lord, because you have helped us, might God, to learn more about this woman. Oh, our lamp never goes out, and she really invests her time on things that matter. She gives extra time to the things that matter, dear Lord. We have seen the foundation of the same. It is a relationship with you, O oh Lord. I pray in Jesus' name for the wailing women outside there, those who are crying, my dear Lord, those who are going through dark moments, my dear Lord. I mm. pray in Jesus' name, the understanding of your word mm. will bring light into their lives and they will get to understand mm. on how to work out, on how to work out on their lives, yes, on how to put more and extra time oh, on boy. things that yes. matter, my dear Lord. Oh, and above everything, Lord, we can only be led by your spirit to mm. know the things that matter in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we bless your holy name. As you enlighten many all over the world, God, we pray in Jesus' name. Or they will say that surely you are the Lord who leads up the lamp and it never goes off. We bless you and we honor your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shalom.